Hello and welcome once again to some more uh, Grand Prix World and another part of our Sauber Let's Play. And today we are in the midst of Season 5. Uh, we've had a decent start to the season, by all accounts. We are second in the Constructors Championship. We are... It's equal second in the Drivers Championship with Rubens Barrichello. And uh, Pedro Tenez is, is doing very well consistently as well, which is really, really good to see. So, uh, let's have a little look at the news. Of course, uh, Rubens Barrichello won in Monaco. Uh, Pedro Tenez finished second, so we had a 1-2 in the last race, which is fantastic. Um, McLaren has, has got back that works deal with Mercedes, which is going to be important for them. Uh, Williams have got a, a very high performance. Uh, anything else in there? Not looking particularly um, like there is. Let's have a little look at the inbox. So we've made a profit of 540000 We are ready to upgrade this year's cars, which is good. All that stuff about testing, I really don't care about. We're ready to upgrade the chassis, which is good. Uh, engine sponsor has got a new engine for us, so I think it should be maxed out now. Um, we will be uh, increasing the uh, the factory at the end of the season. We have got a TV advantage there. Got a race advantage as well. Very, very good. Okay. Fair enough. We found a driving aid as well. Perfect. Awesome. Right, let's see how we're doing on the recruitment front. So we can go and get ourselves some excellent and very good staff members. Nice. Uh, engineering wise, yep. Again, we can get some excellent people in there. Okay. Uh, and mechanics wise, we can do the same. We're actually going to get rid of trainees now. Okie dokie. Perfect. Right. Um, let's have a look at our sponsorship deals. So, engine wise, we are pretty much there with uh, a works deal for Ferrari. Um, we're pretty much there for a works deal with Goodyear. We're going to play our success card on them. Um, and we're pretty close to a, a works deal there as well. Uh, Castrol and Danka. Um, Fiat. Let's use our TV advantage on those guys. And our VIPs for this weekend. Um, don't think we can have Ferrari. We can have mobile. What about Goodyear? Yeah, I don't think we... Oh, we can bring Goodyear. That's fine. Perfect. Okay. Okay, very good. Right, uh, let's have a look at the car. So, automatic gears. Let's see if we can get that. No. Yeah, this is uh, pretty rubbish. To be honest with you. Technology wise, we are ready to move on with that. Uh, let's get ourselves some more reliable clutches. Okay, 2002 chassis is ready to move on to the next stage. Into the fluid dynamic stage of the simulations. The 2003 car is ready to move on to the Fluid Dynamics as well. Which is very good. And summary-wise, the car's looking nice. 64%. Another upgrade on that, and we are looking tickety-boo. So, let's get that up there. Engine-wise, I believe we are maxed out. Um... Yep, that's fine. We are maxed out for our tyres, and we are maxed out for our fuel. So there's absolutely no reason for us to do any testing in those aspects. Um, 
we are in fact going to take everybody off engine testing now. I'm going to take everybody off tyre testing. All of our focus is going to go into research and setup, and we are going to basically reduce our workload to around about 150 miles of testing. Um, and we're going to just stick more mechanics on it to allow all of the the points to come in. We're going to stick everybody on 50%, 50%. And fingers crossed, this will work out well for us. So here we go. Let's perform the testing. There you go, perfect. All right, so the research points can be passed on. Um, that's moved on nicely, as has that. That's okay, and so is that. Right, last GP. We obviously got that. We've successfully copied it, but we're not going to get it approved. Yeah, it's just not working. No idea why, but yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Right, uh, let's get the cars fixed. So repair wise we don't need to do anything. So we'll get them all fixed up. Should have plenty of mechanics to do it. And then we've got five spare parts to make. And then we are going to be ready pretty much to head on into the next Grand Prix. And Canada should be a place that we can have a good result. I do believe that. Yeah, I think we've got a very powerful engine. And obviously a lot of straights around here. So it's got to be a good thing. Right, everything is looking good, fine and dandy. Uh, perfect. Right, so setup wise, we are fine with our team orders. I'm going to go for a bit on all of those. Oops. Yeah, actually, going to go a little bit different with Denise. Right, so number eight, that's what we want for both of our drivers. Both got the up-to-date fuel, up-to-date tyres. That is all looking good. So they're both going to go hard tyres, or... Uh, why not go... Soft. Yeah, why not go soft? They're surely going to be quicker. I don't know. That's fine. Next Grand Prix! Yeah, keep an eye on McLaren once again. And let's get into the action. So here we go for the Canadian Grand Prix. It is 21 degrees and dry for your qualifying today. Let's see how they both get on. Ooh, seventh and eighth. Not bad. Three tenths off pole position for Rubens Barrichello. Uh, tenth further back with Pedro Diniz. Um, but Damon Hill is your pole sitter. Olivia Panis in second. Hacken in third. Saras in fourth. Magnus in fifth. And Frenson in sixth place. Uh, 22 degrees and it's clouded over for race day. We are going to go for uh, a two-stopper with both of our drivers. And let's see how we get on. Ooh, fourth place for Pedro Diniz. Um, Rubens Barrichello was first out, and he had an unknown issue, so not entirely sure what that's about. Um, but Frenson wins the race. Uh, from Damon Hill in second. Tuero finishes third for Benetton. Diniz finishes fourth for uh, Sauber. Monteromini and Panis round out your top six. 
That means in the championship, Barrichello drops down a bit to P4. Denis up to equal sixth position now. And uh, we drop down to third in the Constructors. Bit of a shame, that. Right, uh, let's get that copied. And we will try again. Of course. A little look at the news. Uh, Frenson wins another race. Ferrari has got a works deal with Ford. Williams have got a major development deal with Goodyear. Arrows have signed Stefano Domenicali. Ah. Well, that was a bit of an oversight on my behalf. Right, luckily Ian Phillips is out there looking for a job. Right. Okay. Ah. <laughs> uh, we have got a replacement in for him. But yeah, commercial wise, that was my bad. Ah. Good job we spotted that because we wouldn't have had a commercial manager in for next season, which would have been a real issue going forward. Uh, design wise, we can get rid of some of the trainees. Okay, no, that's fine. Other than we can get rid of more trainees, that's fine. <clears throat> right then. Um, so yeah, Arrows have signed De Benicali. That's a bit annoying. But we can get Phillips. We can get him. So we've made a profit of 800,000. Ready to upgrade the cars, which is good. Um, a new and improved engine. So we have got the work steel in place. Awesome. Oh, and we have a deal with Fiat as well. So that has uh, gone nice and quickly. Okay, right. So let's uh, head straight to the commercial land. Let's sign our work steel with Goodyear and mobile and of course ferrari perfect we want to make sure that we get all of those bonuses in place for next season it would be rather nice if we could get ferrari along yes we can that's good okay Gonna dial that down a little bit to save some money. Yeah, it does have a bit of damage. All very strange. No, I just don't understand. Right. Um technology wise we should be ready. Yeah, good. Let's go for the electronics. We want all of that suited and booted. That's perfect. We can move on to modeling now with both of our cars, which is fantastic. Oops. So I think it was 35 and 30, wasn't it? <coughs> Okie dokie. I think all of that's sorted. Right. Um, let's try and reduce that even more. What about 100 miles of testing? Will we get enough done there? Let's risk it for a biscuit. Yep. 
100 miles was enough. Nice. Okay, let's get that technology upgrade on the car. Let's get the cars fixed. And then we can start getting on with the next Grand Prix and hopefully we'll do a little bit better. Perhaps on the hard tyres we'll be able to last further into the race. I thought the softs would give us a little bit more pace. It didn't seem to be the case. So... Here we go then. Right. That's all good. I'm going for the same for both drivers. Um, tires wise, we are going hard. Just see what they've got in store for us. Yeah, not even a good engine. No, that's fine. Perfect. Next Grand Prix. Nice. Okay, uh, 2002 French Grand Prix. Um, let's see how we get on in qualifying. Sixth and tenth, so a little bit quicker from Rubens Barrichello. That's pretty pretty good, sixth position. Damon Hill is your pole setter. Panis in second, Hacken in third, Saras in fourth, Tuero sixth, and Barrichello sixth, Magnus in seventh, Monoramini eighth, Frenson ninth, and Denise rounds out the top ten. 24 degrees, very dry for the race. Of course, we are going to be one-stopping this baby with the hard tyres and hopefully we will manage to get back on track and back on the podium that is indeed the plan with brand new tyres for both of our drivers and Pedro Diniz well, I wonder why zero stop you know what I'm going to risk it a zero stop strategy for Pedro Diniz it's going to be very slow at the start of the race. Let's see how he gets on. <gasps> we got a podium. Oh, we've won the race. Wow, look at that. Rubens Barrichello wins the race from sixth position ahead of Damon Hill in second. Uh, Tuero finishes third. Hacken in fourth. Magnus in fifth. Frentz in sixth. Uh, the zero stopper Diniz does manage to improve, uh, but finishes seventh in the end. So perhaps... Not the best idea, but worth the experiment, I think. Barrichello back up to second in the driver's standings. Diniz back down to seventh. Sauber uh, currently in second position in the championship. Okie dokie then. Uh, let's go straight away and talk to Ian Phillips and see if we can get him something that he wants. Let's go for that. He's accepted the offer and wants to join from 2003 so that's perfect so that's exactly what we needed to happen um, yeah let's get rid of some trainees perfect nice Right, news-wise, uh, Rubens Barrichello has added another race win. Damon Hill uh, led the grid. Sauber's got a Landmarks Works deal with Ferrari and Mobile and Goodyear. Um, 
Anything else there? Did I sign the deal with Fiat? I'm not sure I did. No, I didn't, so pretty lucky that we noticed that. Um, right, yeah, I'm not that bothered about the bonuses particularly. Right, let's see if we can get people on the Danker deal. Yeah, better terms with all of those, which is perfect. And, yeah, looking good now. Alright, Home Grand Prix coming up. We'll bump up the hospitality a little bit. And let's see where we are at with all of our respective teams. Driving aid ready for homologation. Again, once, once again, just rejected. Not really sure why. I'm not sure why I can do to improve it. Um, wind tunnel stage for our upgrade, so we will have an upgrade in time for the next episode. And we might well have our 2003 car already finished, which would be a really good start for us. Nice. Okay. Right, let's get the testing done then. Don't need to worry about any of that. Get the testing done. Research points handed out. Perfect. Ah, well, a bit of a missed opportunity there, but should be okay. Um... So our reliability should be middle of the road, which would be decent. We can get our cars fixed up. Yeah, I can't believe we managed to win the last Grand Prix. Definitely massive contenders this season, but need to just start getting the strategy right for both drivers. Right, let's get some spares done. And what would be nice is winning the British Grand Prix with a 1-2. Made a massive profit at the last race, it, it would appear. So we are rolling in the money at the moment. It can change very quickly. Right, let's have a little look at the um, inbox or a million made. Okie dokie. Perfect. Okie dokie then. I think we are ready to go. So let's head into the next Grand Prix. Slightly more on the overtaking for Denise, just because he'll be um, the one that is struggling a little bit, you would think. Okay, right. Uh, light rain for qualifying, that's going to be a bit interesting. I believe our intermediates are good, yep. Right, let's see how we get on in quali then. Ooh, fourth and seventh, very nice. Uh, Damon Hill is your pole sitter. 
129.9, Hakkinen second a 130.1, Panes third with a 30.6, and then Barrichello fourth, 31.3. Denise qualifies seventh, just ahead of uh, Michael Schumacher, the Rainmeister himself. Very dry for the race, and this is going to play into our hands. We haven't got many cars to overtake. This could be a 1 2 coming up here if reliability can hold. So here we go. Fresh rubber all round. Barrichello's going to come in first, of course, as the lead driver. And the guy that is fighting for the championship this year. Two laps later, Pedro's going to roll in. Bolt on a set of brand new hard tyres. And hopefully challenge his teammate. Here we go. This is what we wanted to see. Oh, only second. And it was Denise, so Barrichello out of another Grand Prix. I wonder where he was. I have a feeling he would have been leading the race. But what has happened? An engine failure late on. For Barrichello, we will check that. Damon Hill wins the Grand Prix. Denise finishes second, Hacken in third, Frentz in fourth, Panis fifth, and Monteremini in sixth place. Barrichello drops. 18 points behind Damon Hill now. And uh, Denise up to 7th on 21 points. Sauber 2nd in the standings. Uh, let's have a little look then at that Grand Prix. I believe if we look at... So it was lap 29 that he lost out. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure exactly. Well, I think that means that Damon Hill was in the lead for the whole Grand Prix, essentially. Um, so Denise got up to the lead by lap 22. Interestingly enough, I think as Damon Hill pitted. Yeah. Barrichello had made his way up to second by the time he retired, so it was a, a 1 2 at the time of his retirement. With Denise leading the way. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, Okie dokie. Yeah, nothing else really to report. Made a profit. All that good stuff. Quick look at the news before we go. It doesn't look like anything in particular. Okay then, right. I think that is where we're going to leave it for today's episode. So if you have enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more uh, Grand Prix World videos. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.